Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen, how are you guys doing today? If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that like button because it really supports my channel and I upload twice a week, so I'd love for you to join my family here on YouTube. So for today's video, I have my September favorites. I know, it's October, I'm late. I get it, but I was so busy during the month of September, so I didn't have the chance to film this video. So I'm gonna film it for you now, and then I'm gonna include some of the things I was using from like June to September, because I have quite a few things here. I don't have that many makeup products, to be honest. I have more skincare, more hair care products that I've been using, but I'm really excited to show you guys this video today. So continue watching. So the first product I have today is the Clinique Stay Matte Foundation you can see I've been using this foundation for obviously longer than a month I wouldn't be able to finish an entire tube of foundation in a month but what I love about this foundation is that it keeps me matte all day I used to have extremely dry skin but as I'm getting older my skin is changing so it's more combination now and this just gives such a flawless finish a flawless canvas it looks so pretty on the skin I absolutely love it I'm in the color 23 ginger and I would literally recommend this for anybody that has oily skin. Anybody with oily skin, you are absolutely going to love this. I promise you, it keeps you matte all day. It doesn't have that much coverage, so if you're a full coverage kind of gal, this probably won't work for you. But if you just want to be kept matte and just have a nice flawless finish, not something too heavy, more medium coverage, you will love this. The second foundation I have here is my Lancome Stick Foundation. This, you guys... I can't even begin to talk about this. This foundation is so good. I can't even believe it. Like, I'm like embarrassed to show how much I have left. I literally had to stick my finger in it and like dig out the foundation. And this is how much I love this foundation. I've been using it for, I would say like two months now. It doesn't last that long, but oh my God, it gives the most beautiful semi-matte finish. It is so nice. Like, I am not a stick foundation kind of gal. Like, absolutely not. Like, I never use stick foundation. But this one, my coworker recommended it for me to try it. And I just fell in love. Like, I'm wearing it today. Yes, I'm wearing it today. And I, like, dug my finger in. And I just, I love the way it looks. I think it just looks really, really nice. It's not too, too matte. It's not glowy or anything. Because I'm not really a glowy foundation type of gal. But I love this foundation so much if you guys are looking for a new foundation and you're like you have no idea what you should buy try this Lancome stick foundation i promise you you will not be sorry and there's so many colors which i can really appreciate because you know lines nowadays they do not come out with that many colors this is i ugh, i can't even begin to speak on how much i love this foundation i love it the third makeup item I wanted to mention was this Estee Lauder Smoothing Primer. If you guys are familiar with the Smashbox Primer, oh, what is it called? I forgot what the Smashbox Primer is called, the Photo Finish Primer. I think that's what it's called. This is literally like the exact same thing. I swear to God, the consistency is literally the exact same. This is the packaging it comes in. It fills and pours. It keeps your makeup looking flawless all day. It keeps your foundation on your skin all day. I'll show you the consistency. Literally, it reminds me so much of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation. I mean, sorry, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I can't even speak today. Like, I can't. But I absolutely love this primer. I used to use the Lancome um, La Base found, uh, Foundation Primer all the time, but I don't really use that one anymore. I switched to using this one, and I really, really, really like it. I would highly recommend it for anyone looking for a new primer. Fourth item I have here is the Estee Lauder Translucent Setting Powder. Oh my god, it looks like I'm sponsored by Estee Lauder. I'm absolutely not. I just love their products. I've been using Estee Lauder since I was 18. Literally, I'm 23 now and I've been using it for five years. I love Estee Lauder products from their skincare to their makeup. I just love it. What I love about this, I mean, you don't get that much product. As you can see, I used it till you can't use it anymore. You don't get that much product, but what's really, really nice about it is that it's so finely, finely, finely milled. It just sets your foundation so nice. I know it's very, very white, but it doesn't show white cast on your skin. Again, I'm wearing it today. 
and once you spray it with some fix plus or anything like that you don't get that powdery look and it just gives such a nice finish i absolutely love this i love 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 this highly recommend this then i have oh my god another estee lauder product i'm sorry you guys it's so good i love estee lauder then i have my double wear stay in place concealer i'm in the color medium deep i don't know if you can see that but this is a really nice concealer. It is a full coverage concealer. I use a lighter color because I use it for highlighting. I don't really have dark circles or anything like that, so I don't use it to conceal. I use it to brighten my under eye and the center of my face and whatnot. So I really, really, really love this concealer. If you're looking for a full coverage concealer, it's not completely matte. I would say it's more semi-matte to satin finish. I think you would really, really love this concealer. It's really, really nice. It sits nice on the skin. It is very full coverage. So if you're not looking for a crazy full coverage concealer, you probably won't like this one as much But if you're looking for a concealer to really really blur your skin give a really really flawless finish You are absolutely going to love this for my other September favorite I have here the Huda Beauty electric obsessions palette she came up with quite a few colors last year and um, Tyler got me this for Christmas. He knows that I love to play around with like crazy funky colors on my eyes, especially during the holiday season. Like when I go to work, I love to wear the blue eyeshadow, purple eyeshadow, red eyeshadow, yellow eyeshadow. I just love creating really, really fun looks. I need to show you guys some fun looks here on my channel. I focus more on vlogs than I do beauty, but you know, I would love to show you guys some of the fun eyeshadow looks that I can create because don't get me wrong, I absolutely love makeup, beauty, anything like that. So maybe if you guys are interested, I will do a tutorial on like maybe a funky cut crease. So I love this palette because it comes with really, really fun colors. Like these colors are absolutely beautiful. As you can see, I used this till I couldn't use it anymore. <laughs> I love this color. This one is really, really beautiful. I love wearing oranges. This blue is so pretty. It is so nice. I'm wearing this red on my eyes right now, and I'm actually wearing her other eyeshadow palette. I forgot what it's called, but I am using this red as well. It's very, very beautiful. And the last makeup item I have here, oldie but a goodie, MAC Fix Plus. I cannot live without this. I can't leave the house without setting my face with setting spray like i just can't the people that don't set their face with setting spray you are literally missing out on life this is the coconut scent absolutely love this it smells so freaking good it makes my makeup look absolutely flawless and beautiful i love it it takes away the powdery look that you sometimes get you know when you're layering your foundation your concealer then you're doing your setting powder your highlighting powder your contour so this really really leaves your makeup looking so beautiful it's so funny because i saw a meme um what did it say it was like something like you know you can start getting ready when your girlfriend takes out her setting spray because then, you know, that's when you know she's done her makeup. <laughs> really really love this would recommend it to everyone any type of setting spray this is just the one that I use because it provides nice hydration as well and like I said um, as I get older my skin is more combination but it does have its really dry times so I just love this I can use it throughout the day to refresh my makeup and refresh my skin so that's all I have for makeup products now I'm gonna move on to skincare what I've been using right now this is the Estee Lauder eye matrix this one is a really beautiful eye cream. It helps for lines and wrinkles. It firms. It helps for hydration. It has two times hyaluronic acid in it. So it's like really, really moisturizing and really nice. It comes with the 360 applicator. I've been using this for a little over a month now. I started using it at the beginning of September and I really like it. I have a really, really, really crusty, dry, nasty under eye. I really, really do. Honestly, it's so crusty and dry. I don't know why. And this has been working wonders on giving my eye really, really nice hydration, brightness. I wake up in the morning. My eyes aren't as crazy puffy as they normally are. Tyler always laughs at me because I look mad when I wake up in the morning like I look absolutely crazy I look like a mad woman my eyes are so puffy my hair is all over the place I look crazy so this is a really really beautiful eye cream if you're looking for something extremely extremely hydrating because this one has two times hyaluronic acid I don't know if you guys know what hyaluronic acid is but anything with hyaluronic acid is going to be 
extremely moisturizing for your skin so this is so so nice for the under eye area then i have my estee lauder day wear this is the day moisturizer i have been using as you can see, I used it until it's worn off. What I really, really appreciate about um, this moisturizer is the fact that it has SPF 25. I know that we're approaching fall, so it's not going to be as sunny, but I think it's so important that everyone wears sunscreen because there's really no point in using these expensive serums and these expensive creams and these expensive eye creams, everything, if you're not going to be wearing sunscreen, honestly, because a lot of the damage that occurs on your skin comes from the sun. So I love that this has SPF 25 it smells so good it smells like cucumbers mm, you guys it smells so fucking good it smells like cucumbers like seriously I know some people don't like a cucumber scent they complain about it or some people hate when they're scent in their um, skincare products I used to be like that because I used to work for Clinique a long time ago and Clinique has no fragrance in any other stuff but honestly a fragrance as mild as this like cucumber it smells so good and it's so nice and hydrating for your skin I like that it has SPF in it and I just like that it gives my skin a nice glow I really really appreciate that so I've been loving this for the month of September. And then the serum I was using is my Lancome Genifique Serum. Absolutely love this stuff. It makes your skin look so beautiful and so bright. So nice. I think that anybody can use this. Honestly, all ages, all skin types. It's a youth infusing activator, so it's really, really nice. Um, it gives your skin a beautiful glow. As you can see, I'm all about glow. I'm all about glowy, bright skin. I absolutely love this. It's so nice. It leaves my skin so beautiful, so hydrated, so radiant. I really, really like this. I use it day and night. I've been using it for... Hmm, this is like a September favorites, but honestly, half of these things I've been using for so long. This one, honestly, it's 100 mil, so it's lasted me. Oh, I feel like I opened it in January. So, and I'm super picky with serums. Like, I don't just use something and say I like it. If I don't see results, I will not talk about it. I will not use it. I will not recommend it. This one is so nice because I do see results when I use it. I do see the texture on my skin is diminishing. I do see the lines. Yes, I do have lines. I'm young, but I have lines. <laughs> I do see that they're more plumped up. My skin is super bright and that's what I love. Like, I don't need any crazy anti-aging serum, but this is just nice because it provides really nice glow to the skin and I love that. And then I think that's pretty much it for skincare. And then I have a fragrance I wanted to show you guys. Again, Estee Lauder, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this one smells so good, I'm gonna spray it. No. Mm. So this one is... Modern Muse La Rouge. As you can see, I love it so much because there's like nothing left. Oh God, I didn't even notice. Don't mind my nails, they look like shit. I know, I need to get them done. I know, I know, I know. Cut me some slack, give me a break. I know, I gotta get them done. They look crusty, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere special. But I love this fragrance. I don't, I suck at like undertones of fragrances and like, what's in them what's the notes i have absolutely no idea all i know is this is a sweet fragrance and i love sweet fragrances and it smells so good and i spray it around my place anytime i think the place stinks and i spray it on myself if i stink and i spray it in my hair and i spray it everywhere and i spray it on my wrist and on my foot i'm just kidding but it smells so good if you're in the market for a new fragrance if your mom wants it for christmas or if you're looking for a fragrance for your mom for christmas or your friend for her birthday I recommend this. Love it. Can't get enough of it. I literally, this is so embarrassing to admit, but I spray it around the place. That's why I have like none because if I just want to smell it one day, I just spray this like for no absolute reason. I don't, I'm not even going anywhere and I'll spray it because it smells so good. And that's how much I love it. It's so embarrassing to admit. Okay, so now we're going to move on to hair care products. I only have three. I haven't been using that many hair care products this month. Um, so the first one is this tea tree oil. 
This I got from Winners at the Outlet Mall. This is so nice. If you guys are like me and you suffer from really, really bad dry scalp, you'll love this because this is a hair and scalp treatment. My dandruff used to be so bad. I refuse to use head and shoulders because I try to stick to sulfate free shampoos and conditioners. I literally don't like putting super, super harsh detergents on my hair, but this has literally saved my hair from all that dandruff I had. Like my dandruff was so bad, it looked like it was snowing when I shook my head, it was so embarrassing. If you guys have really bad dandruff the way I had bad dandruff, like so bad, I told you it was like, it was it was winter outside on my hair, okay? Like my, my scalp was disgustingly dry. This literally has saved my scalp. It has saved my hair. All you have to do, I put a really, really generous amount on my scalp. I leave it in. I try to leave it overnight if I can, if not like 10 minutes, and then I wash it out. And my hair is so moisturized. A little bit goes a long way. Literally, you just need a dime size amount if you're gonna be running it through the ends of your hair or if you're gonna be putting it all over. And then if you're going to be using it as a scalp treatment, definitely take the time to use a decent amount and massage it in the scalp and it's so nice i don't have any dandruff anymore at all because of i think it's because of this product because i didn't change anything about my hair care routine other than using this and i just think it's a miracle worker i was like scared because i was running out there's like nothing left i'm down to here on it so thank god i found more at my local winners thank god because i don't know what i would do then I have, everybody knows this product. Everybody knows this. This is another oldie but a goodie, the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. So good. I've used so much. It literally smells like apples. This I use um, every single time I wash my hair. I use this. I do deep condition every single time I wash my hair. I know that's so extra. You definitely don't need to do that, but I do. And I just love this. This really repaired my hair because I bleached my hair last year. I had a caramel balayage and it was really bleached. It was really, really dry. It looked so nice at first, but as the months progressed, my hair started getting drier and drier and i literally think this is what saved my hair because my hair was breaking a little bit i did get a little bit of breakage in the back because i had a lot of bleach in the back so i used this while my hair was bleached and then once i went back to black i continued to use it because just because your hair is not bleached anymore it doesn't mean it's not going to break after that damage is already put onto your hair so i love this i mean so many people love this so many people use it i recommend it to anybody just in general like you don't have to have damaged hair to use this hair product just anybody if you want healthy beautiful hair this is amazing and then I don't know if you guys watched my Edmonton vlog. I talked about that guy that sat me down on the chair and convinced me to buy that flat iron I did not need. And I bought it because I'm a sucker and anything that has to do with hair, I buy. So this is the Electric hair mask. It has argan oil and vitamin E. I don't know where you can buy this because he was selling it from a kiosk. But this stuff, this is like, this is a magic. This is magic, I swear to God. The conditioner itself feels like silk. It's so weird, it's nothing that I can ever explain, it's nothing that I can describe, it just feels like silk. Like the texture of this feels like silk before you even put it in your hair. It's so nice, it's so moisturizing. It doesn't really smell that good, I'm just being completely honest, but it works wonders. I remember the first time I used this and I went to work, um, the next day and all my coworkers are like, Queen, your hair looks so different. Like it looks so silky and so shiny. And I was like, yeah, you gotta try this. So my coworker's hair was super bleached too. So I gave some to her to try and she said the same thing. It's so weird. It feels like silk. I absolutely love this. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out because I don't know where you can buy this unless I go online and buy it, but that's annoying. I know people like to shop online. I don't. I'd rather just be able to like pick it up from somewhere, but I love this. I can't even, I, I can't get enough of this. I don't know what I'm going to do when I don't have it, you guys. So the last two things I'm going to mention here, I got to wrap this video up because my camera is dying, is my caramel apple from Bath and Body Works. And also, of course, pistachio I had to knock this down when I was lighting it, when it was lit. 
completely ruined my entire candle but this one is the pumpkin pecan waffles scent so these two they smell so good you guys like walking into my condo and i just smell like pumpkin pecan waffles or a caramel apple life doesn't get any better than that i swear to god smells so good these are my favorites i'm so sad that they're just like limited edition just here for the holidays i'm gonna tell tyler to like buy me a shit ton for christmas because these smell so good if you want a new candle the ones that i regularly buy are like the vanilla bean because those are here those are there all year long but if you're looking for the limited edition ones try these ones these smell so good i swear to god this one if you go home or if you come into your apartment and it smells like this i swear to god you're gonna be so happy it's just gonna change your entire mood if you're having a bad day light this candle if you're having a good day light this candle it's just the best so thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video thank you for listening to me ramble thank you for watching this favorites video i really appreciate it i know it wasn't really a september favorites it was more of like a current favorites maybe that's what i'll call it a current favorites but thank you guys so much for watching again if you're not already subscribed subscribe to my channel because i upload twice a week and give this video a thumbs up because it supports my channel and i will see you in my next video comment down below some suggestions of the videos that i should do i was thinking of like doing how i grew my hair down to my ass i think that's something people want to watch at least those are videos i want to watch <laughs> I'll stop rambling now because my camera shut off like five times already <laughs> and I'm still talking. So I will see you guys in my next video.